Here I'm logging as an Avinash underscore T user and I'm giving the password. And I've logged into my AWS account. And here you observe I'm pointing to this particular AWS account. And now let's navigate to S3. And I'm able to list out all the bucket. Now let's go to EC2 service. And I'm able to get all the informations here. And let me navigate to IAM. Seems my internet is very slow. Okay, I'm able to view all this information. So this user, Avinash underscore T, have valid policy to access all these resources. So that is why he's able to access. And we have some important policies. We will discuss that policies now. Okay, so we have different type of policies. Here you can find filter policies. Customer managed, you can create your own policies and you can start using that policies and AWS managed policies. So approximately 497 policies are available. And here AWS managed job functions. Amazon intelligently created a couple of job, fun job functions. View only access for all the resources. This is system administrators. If you recruit a system administrator, you can get this policy and he's going to get permissions on all these resources. And if you have a data scientist, you can associate, they can allocate this policy. If you have a database administrator, you can associate this policy. And if you want to know, on what are all the services is getting permission you can just expand and these all are the services is going to get uh, permissions on and these are the job functions and if you want to go with aws managed policies here is an option aws managed policies and uh, for each and every service we have read only policy we have write policy we have full access policy so for example let's take ec2 i'm searching for ec2 and here EC2 full access, EC2 read only access and different other services. And let me search for S3, S3 full access, S3 read only access. Exactly same manner, what are the policies or what are the permissions you want to give an AM user, you can give that here. And the first one is customer managed policy. We can create our own or customized policy and we can associate that policy to our users, IAM users. So now let's create our first custom managed policy. Click on create policy and here we have different options. What are the services you want to make part under this policy? Click on choose service and for one IAM user, I want to give access on S3 as well as EC2. Then I'm going to look for EC2, select and now it is an action what permissions you want to allow for this user and again we have denny also we can switch to denny permissions also if, if you click on this here you can observe we are denying these permissions on this ec2 service so at the moment i'm going to allow and i'm going to allow all operations on ec2 and here it is asking for resource and all you can just select and you can select all resources I'm giving full permissions on EC2 and if you want to enable multi-factor authentication and all you can simply expand this MFA enable so then we need to have an MFA device um, I'm, I'm, that is an optional thing so I'm not going to select and I'm going to add additional permissions so here I have different permissions on EC2 service and then I'm going to choose another service that is S3 can select this and now again I'm going to give permissions all permissions on this and again resources you can select all the resources and if you want to add any other service for example for one IAM user I want to give full permissions on EC2 as well as S3 and I want him to deny for one particular service and I can select that and for what service we want to deny? I want to deny for this user all access on IAM. Then you can select it. And I'm going to switch to deny. And here all IAM 
resources and again all i am resource groups permissions handle click on review policy what is the name you want to give so i'm going to call this as a custom policy then here you can get the description so i have given ec2 full access and s3 full access iam deni so then this is explicitly deni in future if you are giving full administrative permissions for this user this iam is going to deni click on create policy again it is not accepting uh, special characters invalid policy description click on create policy now one policy got created and we have manually created that policy with all our required settings if you want to list out you can just go here customer managed policy and you can find that policy here is a custom policy and if you go here if you up if you want to observe here is a policy name and here is a name and if you observe for customer managed policy we are not going to get any aws logo but for aws managed policy we are going to get this aws logo if you have this that means that is an aws managed policy so that is how exactly you can create a policy now if i want to associate that policy to any of the user i can go to users and i can give that policy simply go here and then add permission attach existing policies directly then look for the policy custom policy i'm going to set up that click on review then click on add permission now this avinash user he is going to get full access on s3 platform as well as ec2 platform but we have defined explicitly deni on iam platform so he cannot perform anything to keep it simple what you can do create another user and allocate admin permissions to that user and create a deni policy and associate that policy to that user so you can give a try with that option and you can consider that as a task create a user with administrator access or administrator policy on our aws environment and create a custom policy to deni iam access and switch to iam user and verify access on iam dashboard or iam service and tell me whether you are able to access at iam or not see for this administrator access as we have associate administrator policy we should get iam permissions also but here we have denying explicitly so the the permissions are going to set to deni for this user so in our next video we are going to discuss how we can validate a user's access by using policy generator policy simulator